Yeah, fuck like that. What are you? Oh, you're what are you doing? Meat. I thought you were pointing the meat. <laughs> I was getting out of the image. What are you doing? I'm cutting meat down real small. Why? We're gonna hot pot. Hot pot or not? No, definitely hot pot. Hmm. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll find out if it's any good or not, right? I mean, I just I'm not totally sure that it's like an appropriate hot pot. But I mean, it's inspired hot pot. We're going to do an it's, elevated hot pot. It's hot pot-ish. It's going to be an elevated one. So here we got some random red meats that I can't name all of them on. Oh dear. I could have looked at the package, but I threw it away. Just going to cut it down nice and small. James Small, not Sabrina Small. Oh God. Like that. And then we'll get hot potting. I swear it's like we're making a hot box, which has a whole different connotation. <laughs> okay, so this is from a video that I saw about hot pot. Um, they made a little dipping sauce. I vaguely remember how it went, and so I'm gonna attempt to recreate it. <laughs> Sounds like a misadventure to this. I mean, it's a misadventure for sure, but we'll see if it's good. And by the way, I'm joking about this being hot pot or not because I don't really know that we're doing a good job of representing hot pot truly, but um, it's the same concept, I guess. We're, we're gonna have a hot pot. We're gonna have a pot of liquid that we're gonna dump meat and we have some um, low carb noodles and some vegetables into. Um, that reminds me, we have celery, like two celery stalks that I think we're gonna put in here. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so I started with some minced garlic and I'm making a bowl for me and a bowl for James. Um, so we don't have to share dipping bowls. All right, now I'm gonna add some sesame oil. <sighs> I thought sesame oil was usually darker than this. I guess this says it's virgin sesame oil. Aren't most virgin? Just gonna add some of that in there. I don't really know what I'm doing here, guys. <laughs> um, and she used soy sauce, which we don't really consume, so I have some liquid aminos, which is kind of a stand-in for soy sauce, I guess, right? We're gonna find out. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. This is nasty, we'll cut it out. <laughs> we just won't this episode. Oh, can you give me the green onions? Yeah. I think this is supposed to be more soy sauce than oil. Do you want to try hot potting an onion? An onion? <laughs> no, what the hell? How would you even suggest that? No idea. Jesus. And I'm gonna add a little bit of green onion into this. Although these green onions look like they've seen better days. But here we are. Yeah, this looks all bad. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I think I put too much oil in here, if I'm being real and honest. But we'll figure it out. James is gonna cut up some vegetables. Some very large pieces, apparently. We had a little bit of celery left over. There. I think he's got some peppers over there, some zucchini. Oh, you're gonna put cucumbers in. Nah, I just picked random vegetables. I mean, hey, do what you do. No idea how it's gonna work out in the hot water, but. <laughs> <laughs> we about to find out. Uh, my prediction is that cucumbers won't go very well. I mean, have you ever had a cup cucumber cucumbers? No, that's why I predict it won't go very well. Oh, I have. I 
So just so we know, this is my um, fondue pot that is heating up and we are gonna add to it for our, um, oh. and we are gonna add to it for our actual hot pot process, some chicken broth. Um, this thing's already smoking. Waste, wasted no time. For those of you at home, please pour the liquid in before you turn it on. For some reason, I did not think it was going to take this long to heat up. Or, I mean, I thought it was going to take longer to heat up. Whatever. You think it's enough? I don't know how much we need. Four. Yeah. We're about half there. Uh, I'm going to remove this because I don't think we need it. That's just to rest your um, your fondue sticks on. Um, and to this, James got this from Costco. Organic no salt seasoning. We're going to add some of that in there. No idea what this tastes like. This is really a misadventures episode. <laughs> but I'm not usually in these. You are. You're usually a taster, which is appropriate. Mm, but I'm like making stuff this time. Yeah. All you did was cut up stuff. I'm the one who made the stuff that we don't know if it tastes good That's or not. That's why I call that Miss of the Missus. I'm just saying. What is it? I was going to taste the season. Oh. Thanks. It's not what I thought it would be. What is it? Yeah. You think it's still appropriate? It'd be fine. It's um. It's very herby smelling. Umami? Smelly. The word is? Umami. Sure. Earthy? Yes. Okay, well, it's in there now. And there you go. Anything else we're going to add to this? Onions? Then I'm cooking her? Oh, okay. Is that where it's supposed to go or no? Oh, I don't know. I put some in the, the dipping sauce. Oh, never mind. Well, we can put it in there for some flavor. They're kind of shot anyway, so... Might as well as many as possible then. Let's <laughs> figure out to add like an onion essence to it. Like I said, we're probably bastardizing hot pot. Yeah, don't come at us if we did this wrong. We never done it before, and we watched one YouTube video. I think we're masters now. A single video, yeah. <laughs> and I half watched it. So we're gonna let that get warm. Um, when do you put the meat in? After this is hot. Okay. And then we'll come back with our feast. Okay, so we have some low carb pasta um, that we're gonna throw in here just to make it kind of a little more authentic. Um, and then back here we have our sauces, the one that I made on the two ends. In the middle we have G. Hughes sugar-free steak sauce and then the G. Hughes um, sweet and spicy barbecue sauce, which is my absolute favorite. Um, and then over here we have the vegetables that James cut up for us, some celery, some sweet peppers, zucchini, cucumber, and then we have our meat selection. This is a kielbasa sausage. Kielbasa. Not how you say that. That is some sort of it's a beef. cow cut. I don't know what it used to be, but it's just chunks of cow at this point. <laughs> and this is a, what kind of sausage is this? Do we pork, know? Pork sausage. pork sausage. Okay, a pork sausage. So that's what we have here. Um, so it's like hot pot, but make it keto. And hopefully it's good. We're gonna find out. <laughs> um, so this is. It's boiling really good now. It is. It smells really good too. I don't know if it's going to taste really good, but it does smell really good. So. All right. Well, let's dig in. Yes. So this is going to be a real test for Sabrina because she likes her meat really, really well done. Mm-hmm. And we'll find out if the um, blue can do that. One thing that I don't know Sabrina mentioned on the earlier parts, but we had two sets of chopsticks. So we can tell um, raw meat apart from not raw meat. Well, that doesn't really make sense what you said, but it's basically you use one set of chopsticks to put raw meat in there and then you use the other set to pull food out. And it's not raw meat. And eat it. Like I said. But that doesn't mean you can tell raw meat from unraw meat, from cooked oh, meat. Oh, you can not eat food that was touching. I'm just meat. saying what you said didn't make sense. That's all. Okay. I'm fine with that. The big one's mine. Okay. I mean, it'll be okay. Try not to splash I'm it. I'm trying not to, but I'm losing my grip. You want me to get you a fork? No, I got this. <laughs> ah. 
Oh, look at that. Look at that. I got it in. Pieces. Put it in my noodles. Same though. All right, so now we just wait. <laughs> it it shouldn't take too long. Like vegetables shouldn't take very long. The noodles shouldn't take very long. You're gonna try a cucumber? Oh, I guess. Can you put one in for me? <laughs> Did you switch your... No, blues are good. There. No, I said, did you switch your uh, your chopsticks? No, blue is for good. Blue, what do you mean blue is this for is good? This is raw. That's that you good. just ate off of. And then you got... I guess. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> for those of you playing along at home, James actually lived in Japan for a portion of his life, so his chopstick skills should be fantastic. In my defense, I left Japan when I was 13 years old, and I'm 40 now, almost 41, days away from 41. No one's yours, I know for sure. So. Days away? Mm hmm Two days? Days. It depends on which family member you ask. <laughs> Some would say I was born on the 25th. No shade, but nobody in his family knows his birthday, so. I love you guys. But everybody celebrates her birthday on a different day. So the best part is, they like to argue with him about when his birthday is. I mean, I have literally listened to them all be in like a group call, arguing with each other about when his birthday is, whether it's the 25th or the 23rd, or I swear seven. someone actually said it was on the 30th. Um, <laughs> it's February for reference if this video, if you're watching this video in the future, future. Um, and, According to his birth certificate, his birthday's on the 26th. But don't tell anybody in his family that because they will not believe you and they will argue with you all day. Um, so, yeah. Now, I don't actually help things. I tend to like to play around and prank my family. So whenever it's close to my birthday, I intentionally go into things like Facebook and change it on purpose just to see who actually knows when my birthday is. And so one time in the past, I made it March. It was a very sad day because nobody called me on my birthday. And it's because they didn't realize it, that the Facebook didn't remind them to call me. But you already knew they didn't know your birthday. Why would you do that? Because people were relying solely on Facebook to say happy birthday. It's so fake. I don't like that. So either I'm not going to have it on Facebook at all or I'm not going to have it <laughs> I want people who actually know and care. And you know, if you don't care and don't keep up with it, it's fine. It's one thing if you're just some random friend or some friend I kind of know. But if you're family, you should know when my birthday is. Like when I know when your birthday is, you know? Do you know when my birthday is? January 9th. Wrong. <laughs> I think that's your ex-wife. Nope. That's a cucumber. Oh. Celery. Stick. Zucchini. Is that the only zucchini? No, I don't think so. No, I put a double in there, that's right. And I put two separate ones in there, so there should be... Plenty. Oh my god. It's fine. Have the camera back to mm -hmm. you? Good, it's just hot. <laughs> the zucchini was pretty okay. I mean, it's a little softer than I like it, but mm. I just left it in there too long. Kibasa is really good. The um, soy sauce dip, I actually like it. Mm. I definitely cooked my zucchini for too long. It was not my preference. I like the um, cucumber surprisingly in there, and the pepper. I also like the raw too. <laughs> I'm gonna take a bite of the pepper. I really don't think I'm gonna like it. Mm. No, I just thought the zucchini, the zucchini was too soft. Oh, yeah, let's just leave it then. <laughs> you said the cucumber was good? I enjoyed it. Was it soft? It was, but not too soft. Also, because I thick cut them. 
Okay. Yeah, my hand's getting hot. Let me get it for you. My Your skills. excellent skills, maybe. Bring it close, though. They're pretty decent. They're not um, as cooked as I like them to be. I am not an al dente girl. Um, I like mine to be like overcooked. That's how I like my meat too, so that shouldn't be surprising. I'll give the uh, cucumber a try. I don't have high hopes for this. What's wrong with it? Nothing. I just oh. we were introduced it. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I wouldn't know what to say. Okay, um, cucumber. <laughs> Not your favorite? Mm mm. So you don't like vegetables, from here? Not when they're soggy. I cannot do that texture. Mm -mm. <laughs> you gotta eat one right away when you drop it in. I'm gonna be hungry after this meal. There's all this meat. Is it done cooking yet? I don't know. The last time I've I'm intentionally it avoiding it. Terrible. Now that kielbasa is really good. Mm -hmm. Um, they don't like it with the um, sweet sauce, the Hughley's, uh... The sweet and spicy barbecue? Yeah, it didn't go well with the hot pot juice, but the soy was perfectly well with Really? It. I thought it was actually really good with the hot, with the, um, sweet and spicy. Didn't work for me. Okay, well, I'm gonna try some of the beef cut, that we're not sure what cut it is, with the soy sauce stuff. Oh, that's really good. The beef is? Mm-hmm. How's it without anything? We'll find out. I liked it earlier. It's good. Good. It was like amazing with the sauce. Was it well done enough? Yeah, but it's been in there for like 30 minutes. <laughs> so you won't be hungry afterwards, you'll be tired afterwards. I guess. <laughs> I'm very hot, but it's good. So, for, so far from what I heard you say, all the meat was great. Yep. Zucchini it is undercooked. You liked it? Yep. How about the celery or peppers that are undercooked? You don't like peppers at all. I don't like peppers, so I didn't even try it. Um, mm -hmm. The celery was fine. I don't know if it was like my favorite, but it was fine. Okay. Um, and the noodles were fine. Now you're pulling the James with that. Oh, I know. Um, the only thing I did not like was the overdone zucchini. It was, oh no, that was cucumber. Anything that was overdone, you didn't like it, for as far as vegetables. I don't like watery food. So first of all, we're already batting a thousand by making me eat soup, basically. Um, the contents out of the soup? But yeah, I don't like watery food. So that cucumber and that overcooked zucchini basically dissolved in my mouth and I was not here for it. Uh -uh. It dissolved in my mouth and it became like a puddle of, of liquid. Pepper. Maybe a not overcooked zucchini, but it's really hot. Okay, that's a better texture. It's very, very hot though. I can't eat it yet. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoyed it. I don't mind well-cooked vegetables or meat. So I actually enjoyed everything. What I probably enjoyed the least was the cucumber when it got really, really cooked, but when it was lightly cooked, the cucumber was good. But even when it was over well cooked, over well, overcooked, overcooked, the um, cucumber was still good, good. It had a weird texture, but it was still good. James yeah. will eat just about anything though, so, you know. I got butt cream soda. I'm the opposite, I'll eat almost nothing. Butt cream soda. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is our hot pot adventure. Mm-hmm. I hope you guys enjoyed watching us eat dinner. Mm. Big chunk went down the wrong way first. At home, if we're doing this wrong, please put in the comments so we can actually try this again the right way. This is our first attempt. We saw a video about it. I've read about it briefly reading a blog. And um, let us know tips or better foods to try or different foods to try or something like that. I'm um, allergic to seafood, so that's out. Mm -hmm, no seafood. And obviously, keto food. We don't want to do a lot of starchy vegetables, that kind of stuff. But 
If we're doing something wrong or if we should do something differently or you think we should try something, let us know and we'll give this a shot again. I overall like this experience. It's a whole new way of um, enjoying a meal by sharing a pot, kind of like you're, you get at that restaurant you took me to once.